evening, YouTubers. So it's Thursday night, and tonight's the night I was supposed to take the car racing. But as you can see, it's a washout. No racing tonight. And I have another problem, too, with the car. Uh, so Saturday, I shot the video over at the sawmill there, and the car was running pretty good. And Sunday, I came out. I uh, took care of all the clutter in the interior and put the door sills back in. Uh, just cleaned up a few things, and when I went to start it Sunday, it wouldn't start. It was kicking back real hard on the starter. So I got out the timing light, and I put it on there and cranked it, and I noticed that the timing was showing. It was almost 35 degrees while I was cranking it. And I want to explain what's going on here. I can just find the hood latch. Jeez, how long have I owned this car for? There we go. Well, anyways, come on over here, Mitch. I got my son Mitchell running the camera for me today. So I had done some upgrades. Uh, the biggest one was installing the 6AL2 programmable MSD box that replaced the old 6AL I had that had worked fine for years. Uh, the problem I was having with the old system was the advanced curve in the distributor, the narrowest I could get it was 18 degrees. And I was I found out the car likes to really run about 22 to 24 degrees initial. It gives it really good off idle throttle response and torque. And at, with 18 degrees, if I set it up at 22 or 24, there's way too much total advance. And, you know, the engine didn't like that. It was making less power and definitely not good. So in order to get the advanced curve I wanted, wanted I went ahead and invested the, about 450 bucks in an MSD box. And uh, I ran into a lot of problems. Uh, the first thing was there was almost no instructions on how to program it. You, you put the software into your laptop and you, you, know, you write a program with all the parameters you want. There's all kinds of rev limiters and ignition retards and you can write an advanced curve. Uh, I called MSD Tech. There were no help whatsoever. I was only able to talk to one person. He didn't know how to program it. I called back a few other times, was put on hold for a half an hour and then disconnected. I sent emails to MSD. They did not reply. Uh, so I, I finally spent a couple hours on my laptop and I figured out how to do the programming. So I went ahead and I wrote some programs. I came out, I loaded them into the box, everything seemed fine. Started up the engine, it ran well, I put a timing light on it, it was doing exactly what I wanted it to do. And I figured my problem was solved. Well I noticed uh, every once in a while when I get in to try and start it, it would be like the timing was advanced. But then I'd turn the key back off and turn it, start it again, it would be normal. Wasn't too sure what was happening, but then Sunday confirmed what I thought. Um, <clears throat> like I said, the, the box was not doing what it's supposed to do with the timing. Uh, and then after that, it lost spark. I couldn't get it to start at all. I had manually turned the timing back on the distributor to try and get it running, and it didn't have spark. It was doing all kinds of crazy things. So I got on the phone, and I called Jegs where I bought the box, and they explained what was happening. And they said no problem, they would send me a new one. Uh, the only catch was to get one right away. I had to actually buy another one, and they sent the return authorization for the other one. And when they receive it, they're going to reimburse me the money for the first one. So, yesterday I got the box, the new one, I put it in there. And uh, now, it has intermittent spark problems. It, it, it'll run for a little while, and shut off, no spark. You turn the key off, turn it back on, it starts right up. Um, I'm still trying to really track down the problem, make sure it's not something wrong in the chassis. I check, checked all the wiring. I checked the voltage coming into the box when it wouldn't run, no spark. And there was plenty of power. Everything looks like my end with the electrical is perfectly fine. Um, and the problem is completely intermittent. So I decided, I went online last night, I ordered a new pickup to go in the distributor. Uh, but I kind of doubt that's the problem because I was manually trying to get the the MSD to fire the spark plugs by following their instructions. You take the input for the coil, which is right here. That's the wire that goes over to the distributor to the pickup. You disconnect it, and if you connect those two terminals and release it, it sparks when it, it when it's sparking. So I put a momentary switch on it, you know, a little handheld button, and I was pressing it. And sometimes it would spark, and sometimes it wouldn't. Um, so by the time I was done last night, I, I was able to get it running, but it's still, still got issues. So uh, looks like I'm in for a battle here, trying to chase a, an electrical gremlin out of the car. I'm still reasonably sure. I strongly suspect it is the 6AL2 that is the problem. 
Uh, the new pickup should be here hopefully this weekend or maybe early next week. That's pretty easy to change. And I also ordered a new set of spark plug wires. Uh, these ones here are old. They're at least six years old or whatever. And they, you know, I think it's time to replace them and uh, probably put some spark plugs in it. So I just wanted to, you know, tell everybody what's going on. And thanks a lot for watching. And everybody who subscribed, I really appreciate you a lot. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep more videos coming. And uh, I'm really looking to get more subscribers. So if you know anyone who's into this kind of thing and wants to come along for the ride, go ahead and send them a video and let them know. It's just my ratty old duster with a 440 in it, an A518 overdrive automatic, and a strange 9-inch with uh, 529 gears. Um, it runs okay. You know, it could definitely be faster. I'm going to be making more changes to get more out of it. But... Uh, that's where we are for now, just letting you know, and everybody have a good night.